In this video, we are going to learn how to add and subtract powers of 10. But then we will also learn how to do multiply and divide powers of 10. Now, adding and subtracting follow exactly the same rules. The only difference is we're adding or subtracting. So, let's take a nice simple problem and we'll see that we have 5.2 times 10 to the minus 3 and we're going to add 8.6 times 10 to the minus 3. Now this is going to work exactly the way you think it would. No problem. We're going to add our two numbers, the 5.2 and the 8.6. And as we come down and see what that becomes, we got the 5.2 and the 8.6 and we get 13.8 and because the powers of 10 are the same we can just multiply that by 10 to the minus 3. Now our final answer will be in scientific notation where we are moving the decimal back to the proper position and scientific notation is simply like you see right here, we have one non-zero digit and two non-zero digits. That's not scientific notation. Over here in the answer, you have only one uh, digit that is non-zero, which is followed by the next non-zero digit or a zero or whatever it is. So you can see over here in our answer area, the final answer has to have 10 with a power of 2 so that we can write this in scientific notation. And we can prove this to be correct simply by taking our 1.3 times, our 1.38 that is, times 10 to the minus 2, and let's make that into a number with no powers of 10. So the minus 2 is going to take us to the left one, two times, which gives us 0 0.0138 as our number. Now, if we look at the original number that was not in scientific notation, and we had to convert that, we're starting out with... 13.8 times 10 to the minus 3. Now we're going to have to start at the decimal in a different place. There's 1, there's 2, and there's 3. So, where do we come up? Both of these are going to be right there. The decimal is moving to there. And we will have point 0, 1, 3, 8. I'm going to rewrite those numbers so it's easier to see. Both of these become 0, 0.0138. And there's no power of 10. So both this number and this number are the same, which is what they have to be. A power of 10 doesn't change the number. It simply changes the way we write the number and we use the power of 10 for convenience. In our second problem, what we're going to do is we're going to use different powers of 10. And that requires that we get one of them in the other form. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 0.11 times 10 to the minus 4, and I'm going to change it to 10 to the minus 6. So that's going to be converting the larger power of 10, and that's what we're going to do in our actual conversion. So let's go down and see how that's done. I'm going to take the 0.11 times 10 to the minus 4. If we look up here, you see that that is the number that we started with as the second number, this guy right here. So let's look and see what that becomes. Well, the power of 10 is moving it to the left, 4. And because it moves it to the left, 4, 
Let's take a look and see. So you're going to ask yourself, why is this? And let's look first of all at what this, this little guy looks like. I hope you're seeing a number line. And a number line on the left is negative, and a number line on the right is positive. So everything to the right of zero is positive, and everything to the left of zero is negative. Well, that means that minuses, minus powers of 10, are going to move the decimal to the left, and positive powers of 10 are going to move the decimal to the right. And I hope that's making sense, because now with that in hand, we can go back and look at this thing. See, here's 10 to the minus 4, moving our decimal to the left. And as we go down from there, we're going to do a check, and we're going to see if this power of 10 thing is really working the way I thought it should. And so we're going to check it out. And now we see if we take the original 11, uh, I'm sorry, 0 0.111 times 10 to the minus 4, we're going to move our, our actual decimal, first of all, to 1, 2, 3, 4 positions over. And that means that now our new number, or the actual number without a power of 10, is 0.00011. And you'll notice the power of 10 is gone. Why? Because we have the original number that did not require the power of 10. And likewise, we've got to check out our 10 to the power of 6, or 10 to the power of minus 6. And minus 6 starts with the decimal right here. Oops, not there. That's just oh, actually over here. Okay, that's the original place. And then we're going to move it one, two, three, four, five places over. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six places over. Okay, the first place was to move it between the one, the one and the one, and then to move it between the, the one and the zero, and then that is actually going to give us six moves. We count our little bumps here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Anyway, the net result is we get the same number of zeros to the left of the 11. And we wind up with identical numbers. And that's as it should be. That tells us that we have converted properly. And I'm hoping that by going through this logic of how those numbers move and seeing that they are both the same number, now we can go forward with confidence and complete the problem. Okay, now that we have the answer, let's check it out and make sure we got it right. So, I'm going to do my little check. I'm going to move my stuff over here. And you can see that this first number on top that I just revealed has 1, 4, yeah, uh, it has 14.15 times 10 to the minus 6. So what I had to do was move that decimal to the left six places. And what we see that gives us the number of is 0 0.00001415. That is without the power of 10. So my original number that I, I showed you here as the answer is really this. Now, as I go down and check out my original, or I'm sorry, my answer, let's, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. What I meant to say was that this guy is going to be the one down here. And I did that check right at this place. And let's go ahead and move that over, and you'll see one, two, three, four, five places over, and it's going to take it to exactly the same number. Now, the number that we started out with, which is this guy, I did on this line. And that line, of course, comes out to exactly the same number. So, that's
That's how you're going to do your multiplying. And we went the long way around to show you something in complete detail. I won't do that next next time. Uh, as I continue here, what we're going to do is a couple of each kind of problem. We'll do one add, one subtract, and then we'll do one multiply and one divide without all the gruesome details. So here we go. So in my next video, uh, that will be on a, actually it will be a next video, and we will do the add and subtract and the multiply and divide there, just uh, four examples total. See you on the next video.